Hello and welcome to my first ever prep files video. My name is Lauren Codlin for those who don't know me and basically I'm just doing these videos so I can look back in years to come and remember what it was like to do a bodybuilding competition. So I'm 26 years old, I've dabbled in various different types of sports, I've done wrestling, I was a gymnast back in the day and I've always been quite into fitness. Doing a bodybuilding competition has been something that I've briefly talked about and said that I would like to do at some point in my life, but it wasn't really until the end of last year that I actually made the decision to compete this year. And the reason being was my life had changed quite dramatically. I just needed something to focus my mind and keep me motivated. I started training with John Morris, who it runs the fitness faction. He is there all the time on WhatsApp whenever I need him. It was his support that really made me absolutely sure that I wanted to compete this year. John has competed in the past and knows how difficult it can be so he is always there for support, always there when I need him and really could not be doing so this without him. I started him. losing weight in about October time and then really started prepping January. So far we are ten and a half weeks in, I've got seven and a half weeks to go and I'm feeling really really confident and positive. Some days are not like this, some days are very difficult and very hard to get myself motivated but we are doing it and we are nearly there, the end is in sight. So I just wanted to share my journey with you along the way, how difficult it can be, the highs, the lows, the bits you don't see on social media. So I asked some people for questions on Instagram. The first thing that kind of came up was um, what my training and diet looks like. In this video, I'm gonna run through what I do on an average day, what my meals are, what my cardio is, this is very intense and out of all of the things that I have done, this is the most intense sport I have ever known. But I am absolutely loving the process. Seeing my body change on a daily basis is what drives me to carry on. Another thing somebody asked about on Instagram was what is involved with prep. For those people who don't know what prep is, it's the kind of 16 to 20 weeks before a bodybuilding show. You work on your physique, you get your bikini, you buy your shoes, you do posing practice, you fine tune your look, you basically leave no stone unturned. You spend a lot of time doing exercise, eating, weighing your food and just really getting down to the nitty gritty to make sure that you are bringing your absolute best when you are competing. Another question that I've received is what is the most difficult part about prep and honestly I can't tell you because sometimes it's the fact that I'm just craving something sweet, other times it's the fact that I have no social life. I know that COVID is around right now, so it kind of makes that bit a little bit easier. And other times, it's just how exhausted I am. Some days I wake up and I'm tired and I go to bed and I'm tired. And, you know, if I was doing prep and this was the only thing I had going on in my life, it would be a million times easier. But in the real world, we hold down full-time jobs. COVID has definitely made that more difficult with my particular role. You just have to crack on and get through with it. The thing that is keeping me going is there's an end to it. I know that in 52 days, I'm going to be on that stage. I'm going to be brown. I'm going to have brought my 100% best. I've been accountable. I've absolutely tried my hardest to make sure that I am the best that I could possibly be when I get on the stage. The other really hard part about prep is the mental side of it. It's really difficult not to compare yourself to people who have stepped on stage before you. It's really difficult to have no motivation to do anything else. On those days, I really have to dig deep, remember why I started this and remember that this is not forever. Reaching my goal will be so rewarding when I know that I have given it my 100%. And you'll see in this video that, you know, not every day is shiny. And, and I think that's just part and parcel of doing prep. Good morning. So it's a 5am start this morning and I'm just about to jump on the bike and do my cardio. At the moment, I'm doing 55 minutes of cardio. So I start work at 6.30, so I have to be up just before five to get it done. And I need to try and keep my heart rate kind of above 135, just so I'm in that fat burning zone or extreme. 
sometimes I break it up if I don't quite get up in time. But the cardio is the biggest part about what's helping me lose weight at the moment. I've got the cheapest bike. This thing doesn't even work. But it doesn't matter, as long as I'm getting my heart rate up, that's absolutely fine. My cardio is really important to make sure that I'm stripping my fat and that I'm in a calorie deficit every day. Good morning. So here's my first meal of the day. I have one egg, three egg whites and a bagel. Add a little bit of low sugar and salt ketchup, followed by lots of water. I drink water, so much water throughout the day. And tea with a tiny bit of oat milk, almond milk are great. And also I've just discovered that coconut milk is less calories. So that's how we're gonna start the day off. It's meal two time. So here we have 140 grams of lean beef mince. I use the uncooked weights and then weigh it again when it's cooked. And 100 grams of white rice and veg with a little bit of One of the things that I have to do during prep is get my steps in. Currently on 12,000 steps. We started at eight when I started prep in January. We went up to 10 and it's now at 12. So it's really important to make sure you get those steps in. You're losing enough so you're in a calorie deficit. It takes me normally about an hour depending on what I've been doing throughout the day. So try and mix it up and go different places and just make sure I'm ticking that box every day. Three, which is 140 grams of lean turkey mince and some kind of veg. Sometimes I do stir fry, sometimes I do salad and just mix it up a little bit with fat-free vinaigrette. When going into prep, I was kind of told how difficult it could be and how mentally and physically draining it is but nobody prepares you for when you have a difficult day. Today was one of those days, I woke up, I was tired, I knew I had to do my cardio, I then had back-to-back -back meetings and on my lunch break I was watching lineups and watching these girls who are huge and muscular and brown and tanned and look fantastic and here I am looking tiny, pale and just not that shiny. That's one of the things that people don't tell you about is the body dysmorphia and it is so real. I have to just take a few hours, step back and remember why I started and push through. This is the most difficult thing I've ever had to do mentally. I'm so thankful for the support that I've got around me for helping me get through these days. And I'm super thankful to my coach John for just constantly reassuring me that I'm looking okay, my head's just wobbling, everything's gonna be all right because <laughs> sometimes I just go into myself a little bit and um, I just need that reassurance sometimes. Deciding which category to do in the competition was really difficult. We were originally going to go with trained bikini with PCA. The competitions changed and got postponed. But me and John had a discussion about doing two bros pro. We decided that NK Classic would probably be the best one for us, which is the 9th of May which is the one that we've gone with and we looked at the different categories and the one that suited my body type best was figure. It means that I just need to get extremely shredded and do absolutely everything I can to make sure that I am up there and bring in everything that I've got on the day. Post workout, 60 grams of cocoa pops and 30 grams of whey protein. I add a little bit of water Give that a really good stir. One of the biggest cravings that I get on prep is chocolate and sweet stuff. So this ticks those boxes and um, stops me desperately wanting to eat all the chocolate inside. So I'm just about to have a posing session with Emma Hyman, who is the posing pro. I did a course with her just so I could learn how to pose correctly. It's one of the biggest things in bodybuilding that I had absolutely no idea how difficult that was. 
it's really important that you have somebody telling you how to pose, what the judges are looking for, how to best make your figure stand out to the judges. So yeah, I'll record that and you can have a look what it is. And this is my final meal of the day. So we have 140 grams of salmon and 140 grams of potatoes. Sometimes I cook them in the oven, sometimes I boil them and then as much veg as I like and I've also got some hot sauce on there as well. So that's all my food for the day. So that's it, that's me done and my first prep file video completed. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Please feel free to leave any comments, any questions you've got about prep, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and anything else. And for now, see you later.